Let me show you how you can use Edge Panel on the Samsung S25. So first of all, to open the Edge Panel, you have to swipe up like this. If it doesn't work and you don't have this Edge Panel, you will have to start by opening Settings, Open Display, and right now you will have to navigate into Edge Panel and simply turn it on with this feature. So right now, when you open this bar, you can find some default apps right here. And if you want to quickly open split screen mode, you have to click and hold it and then drag. And now, as you can see, we automatically split screen. So it's much faster. If you want to open some additional apps in this another mode, you can just click and hold it, wait, and now put it here so you can open apps in pop-up view. So that's how you can actually quickly get access into this two modes. When you open this one uh, another time, you can just click here. And right now we can view all of apps that you have on your screen and you can just click and hold it. And also we can do the same to open them. Of course, you have to remember that not every application support this split screen mode. When you click right here, you can actually adjust all of these apps that you have on your edge panel. So if you want to remove some apps and add an additional, like for example, clock, camera, and for example, browser, you can for sure do this. And here you can just keep tapping. And as you can see, you can actually add a lot of apps into your edge panel. Now by clicking here, you can also change method to open a split screen view. So as a default, we can touch and hold, but you can also get it on a single tap. And here you can also find some Galaxy AI apps that you can simply unselect and remove them. You can also show recent apps and that's how it actually works. When you click outside, now we'll be able to close it. And as you can see, that's how it actually works. If you find it useful, please leave a like and a comment below.